Something else that is standing in the way of our addition is this old oil tank, and its removal is actually a job best left to a professional, which is why we brought you back, Kevin. You worked with us a couple years ago in East Boston, and you were telling me that homeowners actually try to do this themselves? Yes, Kevin. It's not only a personal hazard, but it's an environmental hazard as well, because these tanks leak when they do this. You need to be licensed to handle the hazardous waste in the tank. You also need to have a fire department come out and perform an inspection. So you need to be a professional. All right. Right now, we're pumping out the remaining oil and sludge from the tank. We're now pulling the tank away from the wall, and we're going to stand it up vertically and cut it in half. And what's this tool you're using? It's a steel nibbler. And we're using a nibbler so that we don't create any sparks and we don't have any explosions. So you might actually get sparks if you use something like a reciprocating saw? Absolutely. Oh. That is some nasty stuff. What am I looking at? Kevin, that's tank bottom sludge. That's exactly what I would call it, tank bottom sludge. At this point, we have to suck out the remaining sludge, put it into a 55-gallon steel drum, wipe out this tank, and bring it back to our building and put it into a proper containment for a hazardous waste hauler to take it away. And so what becomes of the tank? Well, Kevin, this is our final product here. Really? Yes. The tank gets transported back to our shop where it's crushed and then they're stacked into a container and shipped off to be recycled. Great. All right. Well, I really appreciate you helping us out. We're glad you were here. Appreciate the opportunity. Thanks, Kevin. You're welcome.